Morning. It is a beautiful morning here on the Oregon coast. I'm at Knight County Park. Beautiful day. I'm gonna paddle up the Salmon River for a little bit. Um, then I'm gonna come around and land on the beach over yonder way. There we go. There we go. Beautiful day. Beautiful day for a uh, just a day canoe trip. A few hours. Nothing big. Water's pretty shallow right now. See the bottom pretty good. Water's a little choppy. Sorry about this. Just a little bit. Not too shabby. Not too bad. So up a little ways is Highway 101. I think I'm going to uh, head up there and then turn around and come back. This water's clear. Um, well, I mean, it's pretty shallow. Seaweed. Yeah, it's pretty shallow, but it's pretty clear, which is nice. Used to kind of used to being in places. It's not this. Silverton Reservoir, which I haven't been to in a while. I don't even think, think I've been there this season. Uh, that water is murky and gross. This water is clear. The Lamont River is just disgusting. Good paddle, but it's just gross. What's new? You guys want to leave me a comment yet? I notice every time I ask somebody to leave me a comment, nobody ever does. So comment, tell me. Tell me something about yourself. Tell me uh, what, how you found this video. Alright, I'm just going to shut up for a while and just paddle around for a little bit. And uh, if we see interesting things, uh, we will uh, we'll show you. And then we'll go over the beach. I'm really just taking it easy right now. I'm not trying to hurry anywhere. I got nowhere to be. I don't know if you uh, can hear it, but there's someone has wind chimes and they're just uh, bouncing around. Last time I was here, it was a lot cloudier and rainy. So, over this way, kind of the way we're heading, um, I see a bunch of blue heron flying around. Let's see if we can get one of them on camera here in a little bit when we get up there. No way I'd be able to turn my camera around in time to get it, but this hawk just flew off that direction. Water is water is so shallow right now. My paddles are hitting the bottom. I'm trying to find a deeper area, which I think is going to be over here. Uh, see, that's almost submerged. So, we're going to, uh, yeah, I got a little deeper. Not hitting the ground makes paddling a lot easier. So, right there, the ground's poking up out of the water. If you're at all curious how deep this actually does get, that right there is a, an inlet. Oh, sorry. That right there is an inlet, and I have paddled up that before. Obviously, there's no water in there now. I'd never get up there. 
So the Pacific Coast Highway, Highway 101, is about two miles from where I got in the water. I was expecting the water to be moving a little faster than this, but clearly it's not. It's not too bad. Reached a little residential area here. We will go through here, come out the other side, turn around, and then come out the main part. How's that sound? If it's not too rocky. It might be too rocky. No, I think we can get through that. Oh, shit. Back the way we came, right into the wind, directly into. There are bird's nests up here, all over the place. The bird in that one right there just took off. Giant, giant, giant upturned tree. With a tree growing right up through its roots. I wonder how long it's been down. Probably a really long time. There's a couple of them. So, size of that one right there. And then, ultra here, there's a couple more. I'm about to hit one of them. Ugh. Right there, like, giant tree, and then a pretty big one, and then several smaller ones. see how deep this water gets so where I'm standing right now it's probably its peak that's probably that's got to be at least 10 feet so there's usually or during the winter months during the rainy season and probably the spring runoff this is all uh, this deep right here so an additional 10 feet at least Damn, Highway 101 is that way. I came this way fighting the wind. I'm gonna go all the way back around. You see that mountain right there, that hill up there? Right on the other side of that's the Pacific Ocean. There is a beach on this side of it where I'm gonna land at and we'll go take a look at the ocean. Tree line. I know that hill is talking about a couple kayakers out there. Just on the other side of the tree line is the ocean. There's a beach that we'll land at uh, before we get to the ocean on this side of the ocean. I ain't going out into the ocean. I think that's shark is there. I was going to do one of those 
couple of beach landing shots, but my battery went dead and I wasn't able to. So we'll leave the canoe there for a few minutes and go check out this fort someone's built. There's a couple canoes moored up on the shore. So I don't know if anybody's going to be in there or not. We'll go take a look though. Anybody home? Anybody in there? So a little fire right there. And some kind of a drink. Sitting stump. Move that out of there to get any sleep in here. It's not going to block any rain, but block the wind for sure. Pretty cool. Someone lost something. <laughs> Little crab pincher. up ahead you see the three rocks well this is called three rocks <laughs> 